Hi, I'm Phil Gillen uh, from Eastern Film Fans and welcome Jamie Childs. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's a pleasure and an honour. Now, quickly, I've seen Jack Daw and it's a fantastic film and I want to get to it, but just indulge me for a moment. So you've directed some iconic TV series. Come on, we've got like uh, Sandman, Willow, His Dark Materials, Doctor Who. Now... Doctor Who, you introduced Jodie Whittaker, which I didn't know because you did the short mm. promo for, as well as the first episode. So, I mean, that must have been pretty iconic. I mean, British, you can't get more much British than that. And iconic TV series, it must have been, you know, one off the one off the tick off the you know off the list, so to De- speak. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean that that yeah, I think that in fact the uh, the introduction to her, which was shown during the Wimbledon final, was yes. the most huge moment of yep. British television ever. So uh, actually don't think I don't think I'm ever gonna make anything that's gonna get seen by that many people. So so that was pretty much the peak of my career there, Phil. Thanks for reminding me that you're, a, bad- you're yeah. welcome. No, let's let's not let's not dawdle on that peak of your career. We'd all want one of them. But look, Jack Daw, fantastic. Um I guess it was was it always an ambition to you know, direct a feature film and we didn't see it for so long short films was that the ambition? To, to direct yeah. a feature film? Yeah, big time. I mean, like when I when I was at university, sort of uh, dabbling a little bit in film and doing, I did sound engineering actually at uni. I was always like, right, what I'll do is I'll leave uni. And I I actually wrote a feature at uni, which I've never, I, I've sort of dug out of the closet the other day. I'm like, it's actually not, not bad. I mean, it needs a bit of a rewrite. But anyway, so I was always like, right, I'll pick up a camera, leave uni and just go and do it and just do the feature. Yeah. And I, that was the only way I thought I'd ever get into sort of film and TV. I mean, TV wasn't even really a thing then. I mean, mm. it was, it was, but it was like, you know, some sort of British crime, like investigated, you know, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with them. I did start by doing one of those, you know what I mean? A procedural drama. Uh, yeah, but that was about yeah. that was about as good as it mostly got in Britain, I think, at that point in time. So, but that that was fine. I just didn't know how to get into that. It mm. felt like that was almost harder to do. So I I sort of set out to kind of just do a film, yeah, and then like fell into sort of t- TV commercials and then TV, yeah. Uh, and actually, if anything, the challenge was sort of now getting out of TV. Yeah. And going right, you know, because I tried to get a feature and I tried to look around for one, but say so people don't, it doesn't matter what sort of high end TV you make, you're a TV director, not a film mm. director. Which you think yeah. these days would sort of have changed a bit, but it hasn't. Yeah, really. I think so. Get diversity in the workplace kind of thing. It's like, you know, you but so. it, is, it transcends now, it doesn't it? It doesn't a little bit more, but you're right. I've had it before where you'd be, you know, people pigeonholed that long and say, you never yeah. do that because, you know, and it's nice to be able to do it. So the other thing is you also wrote wrote this as well so where did the inspiration yeah. come from why why this because you directed your first one and you've actually wrote it as well so was, was that the plan or i mean did... I, I, I mean literally the writing it was not like right i think i'm a brilliant writer i'm going to sit down and do a better job than anyone else it was more yeah. like where do, I get, where do i get a script from because mm-hmm. you know the same same thing it's like i knew that i wasn't getting sent feature scripts yeah so yeah. i knew that if i wanted to do one i had to write one probably and i also had to write one that i knew i could make for a certain amount of money yeah. and i knew it could make in a certain amount of time so i kind of catered it for that you know it wasn't like i don't have other ideas it was just that Jack Daw was the one that I thought, actually, yeah, that'd be a fun one to make first. I know that I could probably get it made in the time and with the resources that I could probably get for a first feature. Yeah. So that was that was kind of it. But, you know, in terms of, and, and it was a really big part of it for me was like trying to tell a story in a, in a world, a larger than life world that is set where I come from. Like I literally come from the Northeast. I come from those, those places. Like I bought the, dog there as a kid like at the you know the factories like i know i knew that would be a great place to do a debut feature yeah it makes sense it makes sense you draw upon that and then obviously and you can see it and it comes to on film because i like it it's got that it's got that british it's got that grittiness to it you don't get it with other you don't get it with the americans you get it with you know the british films the feature films and that grittiness you've also um, got a stellar class because if you look at Oliver and Jenna that are doing fabulous with wilderness at the moment, it's on our screen. So you've you've already got a chemistry. You must have been really pleased. And then obviously Thomas coming on board as well from a casting mm. point of view. You've got a you've got a fantastic mm. cast to deliver what obviously your vision was as well going forward. Yeah, massively. And you know, like a lot of that was because I'd sort of I, I, like I, I could all 
the success of that also to the fact that I've done the TV stuff. So that like yeah. one made me feel more trusted, I think, as a debut director. Like, you know, it's like that you get to attract bigger names because they go, Oh, you've done that on TV. I've seen that. Like, you know, so that was helpful. Yeah. And that was you know, I think so it's almost like doing all the the stuff I've done on TV has almost been leaning up to getting a better quality first feature going, you know, like and I think I, I so I thank that history of what i've been doing for that a lot you know like having mm. getting the tr even stuff but even crew that was the same with like with the production designer who came on who you know just finished doing gangs of london he's a great production awesome. designer Matt. he he basically was like look i would never have took this job in the time that i have knowing but he's like but based on you and what you've done and kate glover the producer he was like let's do it you know like this is great so we so we got like really good people and not just cast but crew you know that yeah. so that that was yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, it, I, it I couldn't helps. It, yeah, I mean, I. Uh, well, how long was how long was the shoot? How long did it take you to to shoot that and stuff? Because it looks fabulous on film and stuff. But I, what what really? kind of director are you when you shoot these things? Because this is interesting. For A very me. fast one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 shot, it. yeah. Everybody. We shot, <laughs> we shot uh, it in twenty one days. So wow, it really, okay. so good. it was like if if um if like I would say like we had like one night per set piece like basically yeah. you know yeah. that kind of thing it was never the only I, the only thing we ever like returned to over a period of a few nights was um silas's lair you know inside of the bingo hall yes uh, the yeah, piece yeah, in the yeah. middle of the film the, the uh, when you know the fight sequence and stuff so that that was set over a few nights we got a few nights to shoot that because i mean there was so many bits to it you know um but yeah it was it was quick so it was like we never could go back for pickups or anything it was Yes. But I, but I definitely with with the crew that I've got with the DOP, like we work really fast. Like we know how to do stuff that looks good quickly, if you know yeah. what I mean. And yeah, and he does. The, I was going to say, yeah, he does. Yeah, thank, and and it wasn't it wasn't enough. It was a comp. It was a back end comp. No, I, no thought, I took it as a compliment because <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought it's probably going to be shot fast because they are because it's all like Tommy's money and all that. But actually, yeah. on the screen, it doesn't look that way. It looks like a. I'm not going to say epic because it's not, but it's got that feel for it because it's done over one night, but actually it feels longer than that if you kind of get my name. The sense sure. of it and, and what you, the the tautness of it and the time, it's, it's very it's very good what you delivered in a short space of time is what I'm trying to get at and stuff. And that's Thank testament you. to you as a director and the actors, but it's fantastic because it draws you in. So, you know, people need to go and watch it yeah. and if you, you know, watch it, but it's really fantastic the way you brought that out, you know, in a short period of time to bring it all together, but it looks fantastic. And, you know, I think Thank it was you. in Hartlepool or whatever. It's great, like kind of backdrop and stuff with the wave and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's really yeah. good just the way it all came together. It looked like it was just, you know, easy. And I, I'm sure these things are not. I'm sure there were, <laughs> you know, many, many a time pulling away that. But it looks fantastic on film. It looks really good. I, I love that, like, grittiness and everything else. So you've learned all this for Jack Doerr and stuff. Is uh, Have you got in mind, like, the next stepping stone for your kind of feature film, you know, once this one? I mean, look, it's already had fantastic reviews, you know, for the, the, the festivals that it's been in. So I imagine when it, you know, kicks off in November, it's going to be fantastic anyway. So on the back of it, you'll be you know, have you got ideas for what next will come for you? Do you know what so my cinematographer said to me the other day? He goes, you know, you know, when people finish their first feature, they've already got the second one ready to go. And he goes, well, and yeah. I, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what are we doing? What are we what are we doing then next? And I was like, don't will. I was like, is that you right? Challenge accepted. Jesus, all right, give me a minute. Um, and we were shooting Sandman season two as well at the same time. Uh, like, oh, cool. excellent. Thank you. Good. Yeah, um, so that is happening. Um, but yeah, so I, I am actually doing that at the moment. Well, obviously, we've been put on hold because of the strike, so uh, currently not doing that. So it has given me a bit of time to kind of try and scramble in the dark and uh, figure out what to do next. I do have a script, which I've written, which is a, a sort of a road movie kind of thing. It's basically, imagine like a British Thelma and Louise kind of vibe to it. It's got that sort of thing going. Um, again, like rather than it being too british -y, just sort of like kitchen sink drama it's got a genre feel to it like yeah, jack yeah. door it's, it's gritty but it's also yeah. got like a bit of, I, put, I wanted it to have like a bit more of a hollywood edge to it you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. So there's that i'm getting sent a whole bunch of scripts now now everyone goes oh he's a, he is a film director after all <laughs> you can you can yeah, film that stuff that. yeah thanks stuff. for that well, it's yeah. Not like, yeah, no, it's, it's great i can't i can't complain at all but it's quite exactly. funny you get sent, like literally 
the most opposite ends of the spectrum. Like it's hilarious. So you get sent a whole bunch of stuff that kind of like Jackdaw, and then you get sent yeah. stuff about like I don't know, giant like cats. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying um, to yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you're like you basically like yeah. I mean, in terms of, I think I'd probably like to do something. I'm sort of toying with like, okay, I'll do something in a similar world, but also like, and then in the other times, I'm like, I'm going to do something so different. You didn't mm. see that. Coming. Yeah. You know, and, and, I, I, yeah. So there's so so I think at this moment in time it's hard to say what's next, but I think also you got to like figure out what the the climate is. You know what I mean? Because you might go, I want to do yeah, this yeah, film yeah. next, but no one's got an appetite to fund it. Exactly. So I got to have yeah, a few yeah. things going at once. You know what I mean? You know, it opens doors for you, as you said, and you get get scripts, and you hey, it might be it's not right now for this that you've got, but at some point it will be. And in the meantime, yeah. I've got this fantastic script that I've been given. I've got to do this. So it's mm. giving you opportunities to do that. I'm not going to take much more of your time, um, and thank you for it. But the one film, I uh, the one uh, question I do have, where I ask all my guests, Eastern Film Fan question is: uh, If you're stuck in a desert island and then I can take three films with you, any mm. genre you want, what three films do you take? Uh, I take Home Alone, nice. Jurassic Park, <laughs> and The Matrix. <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> there we go. Love it. No, love it. Love it. Love it. I've had different answers from different people across for and for all different reasons, but I love them. I love the matchup of films. Um, Jamie, it's an absolute pleasure. I wish you all the best uh, with Jack Door and um, your future endeavours. So thank you very much for joining us today and um, yeah, enjoy the rest. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, Jamie. Cheers, buddy. Take it easy, man. Take care. Bye. See you.